Absolutely. The, the Sons of Iraq program has been a great program for securing the population and thickening the security lines where we don't have Iraqi army and Iraqi police. Uh, right now we have 5,115 Sons of Iraq in Bible province, and that's what we manage as a brigade combat team. I am optimistic about this program in the future. It's going to really require the government of Iraq and the Iraqi security forces to take it over from us and be able to, to transition it. Now, look at it in two ways. Transition, which is oppression, transfer, which is transferring the Sons of Iraq program over to the Iraqi army and the government of Iraq managed by the Iraqi army. And that is going really well. We started that months ago. The Iraqi army is paying our Sons of Iraq uh, uh, forces specifically. And they've been doing that for a period of time now. So that system is in place. And we're still paying them with coalition money. Uh, around the turn of the year, January, February time frame, the GOI is going to take over that payment, and the system will already be in place and plugged in and be able to work the transfer. So I'm very positive about the transfer of Sons of Iraq to Iraq Army Control and the GOI. Then the next step is transition to other forms of employment, be it the Iraqi security forces or any other employment like farming or industrial type jobs, those kinds of things. Right now we're looking at 20 to 30 percent transitioning to the Iraqi Army and police, and then further transitioning to other jobs, uh, potentially related to security, uh, FPS or uh, facility protection services, those kinds of things. This will really require the government of Iraq to get involved, work into the